uh, Christopher Douglas Reed. I play Filthy Phil, one of the prospects for Sam Crow. I got the sides for a, a different character on the show actually last season, uh, just a one episode deal, and uh, I did a reading for that, and it went really well. And uh, actually, as I was leaving, I got chased down by one of the casting assistants as I was walking to my car. They had me come back in and read for the part of Filthy Phil. Uh, I read that and did a good cold read and got called two days later. His name is Filthy Phil uh, for unknown reasons at this point. Um, I'm sure it's something that's going to get brought up later, but uh, as of now, I have my own thoughts on it. And uh, I don't know if we best serve releasing that information at this point, but you'll, you'll get it eventually, I'm sure. The prospect definitely does get fucked with quite a bit, and that's, a, that's an aspect of real club life that they carry over pretty strongly, which I enjoy on the show. And yeah, on set, the guys definitely like to like to continue it when the cameras aren't rolling as well. There was one instance where uh, I crashed at Charlie Hunnam's house last year, and it, it got <laughs> brought up on a, on a long van ride back to, uh, back to our base camp, where it was just me and the, uh, the seven regular guys of Sam Crow doing nothing but giving me shit about what may or may not have happened at Mr. Hunnam's house. My family, my dad, has run sport fishing boats in San Diego for like 25, 30 years. And at one point, he, uh, he was in dire need of somebody else to help run his, uh, his boat. So I went and got my license. It takes like two years of sea time. And I've been on a boat since I was 10, so that was an easy requirement to fulfill. And then you have to go for two weeks of classes. You get drug tested all the time. Uh, it's and then you, you get your license from the Coast Guard that actually is a merchant mariner's document so it's all official and federal looking so I still have that it expires in August I don't think I'm gonna renew it I think I'm alright I much prefer uh, portraying a biker guy as opposed to doing a real-life deadliest catch um, it's been fantastic uh, everybody here has been so amazing, and the fans of the show, whenever I get to talk with them, I tell them they're really supporting an, an awesome, awesome entity uh, from the top to bottom. Everybody here is fantastic. It's like no other set I've worked on. But uh, my life has changed in that I'm being able to do what I've wanted to do for the past 10 years, and it's able to happen with a great group of people in a very supportive, nurturing environment where there's no need to, to you know, be an Academy Award winner right away. They're, they're very helpful in bringing you along, helping you learn what's expected of you, and uh, it's been great. So you're kind of like a prospect on the show. Yeah, yeah, and in, in, as t it's in truer words haven't been spoken, I've been a prospect in the acting world for now, and uh, I'm just waiting for my patch, which uh, pretty much the show has given me.